Well, there's pending litigation brought by some hedge funds who owned uh, Fannie preferred shares. Uh, and that litigation is ongoing in federal court quite slowly. Uh, their claim is that the government's um, treatment of Fannie in its current position, Fannie and Freddie in their current position, in a, they're in a, a legally constituted conservatorship where the government is basically uh, running the institutions, that their recent deal with the Treasury Department, uh, in which the Treasury Department basically uh, forced Fannie and Freddie not just to pay a 10% dividend, which was sort of the terms of the bailout, but basically took over the entire uh, company and all the profits forever would be uh, going to the government. The Treasury called this an income sweep. Uh, the litigation is that that uh, was sort of a self-dealing transaction since the government was on both sides, running the company as conservator and then also acting uh, through the Treasury Department, which was the, the, the lender who uh, gave a couple hundred billion dollars to Fannie and Freddie to bail them out. So the litigation is that that transaction in which the government basically took all of Fannie and Freddie's profits, which now are significant in the, in the tens of billions of dollars a quarter, that that was illegal. And so I think the hedge funds are just betting first that that, that litigation may result in a favorable outcome. And then second, that the government's, uh, the Obama administration's plan to kind of wind down Fannie and Freddie is not something that's actually going to happen, that the new entity uh, will continue to exist and will thrive and that the preferred shares and the stakes these uh, hedge funds are taking will eventually be worth something. If they thought that the Obama administration's plan was going to be successful and Fannie and Freddie would go away, obviously you wouldn't invest in an entity that was, uh, had no hope of repaying you and was eventually going to be uh, disbanded.